Hello, friends and followers. And so I'm going to show some of the uh, amateur radio Drake affectionados some of the hack whack crazy problems and connections you can have in these radios. So this one, I didn't spend hours looking around for looking through stages like a science project. Start at RF stage, check that. Go to mixer, check that. Go to second mixer, check that. Didn't do that. Because the first time I did that, I spent days looking for problems and found weird wiring errors. This time, I said, I'm going to look for strange hack-whack wiring. And sure enough, I found one. So here, again, from my last video, they have these two capacitors here that are going into a common wire, which goes to a tube. And I think that tube's a mixer, so that's fine. And I think that's the first mixer. It makes sense. So anyway, um, if I put a probe onto here... And the red wire goes through the shield here. You would expect to see zero ohms or so, or something very close to zero. So let me just put a probe on here. So I'm showing open. Okay, I'm showing like in the mega ohms here. So that's how to find a problem with these. And if I press on this harder, I still don't get anything. So my guess is that this capacitor, which is shorted across, probably was done, that was probably done in QA, when this radio wouldn't tune up. But the worst problem is, why are we not seeing a connection between this pin on this tube, which is probably a grid or, or, or a cathode, and why is this not working? So the solution would be to peel back this insulation and add some solder and see what's going on. So let's... Let's see what is really causing this problem here. And I guess I coined the, the, the word a hack, hack whack Drake connection. So you just wonder do I want to take this whole wire out? Can I peel this down a bit? So I think what I'm going to do is take the whole wire out. Maybe I could add some solder in here, but... Well, maybe it's easier to add some solder. So, what I might do then is see if I have any kind of connectivity in there. You don't want these things to kind of come back and haunt you, so... Let's see if there's any connectivity if I really push hard on this thing. So what happens is usually these connections come and go with heat because the wires are barely intact. So let's see what's going on in here. Okay, if I push hard, I do get a short. If I look over here, it's open. So from here, it's good. No, it's not. So yeah, there's some kind of an intermittent in here somewhere. So, and I'm trying to see if they actually used this capacitor to short this thing out. No, it looks like they actually used it. I think my eyesight is bad enough that I was thinking this was a, okay, well the capacitor is used. That's fine. It was so close, I thought it wasn't used, but my eyesight is a little off, so... That capacitor was not shorted out. Let's move it away from some of the uh, connections, if we can do that. There we go, so... Typical Drake problem. You just want to keep these things apart. So now, do we have connectivity here? I'm still not convinced that inside this wire it actually is connected well. There's some green stuff. And... Yep, I'm getting a short now. So maybe the capacitor was needed and it was shorted because of how it was routed. That could be it. 
So I'm going to try a fast hack repair, I guess, and see. I wish I could show you the meter end of this, but I can't. Um, I'm just going to see if I have any connectivity, any ohms through here. And I'm getting good ohms now. I'm going to drop some solder on that and just call it a day and see if it works. See if the radio fires up. So, looks like that was an inconsistency. But that's how these radios are. They're assembled by various people. And this one actually looks pretty good. It actually matches the other Drake that I have, other R4B, it's pretty close. So the other R4B showed this, this capacitor not connected as this one was. It was just like it is now, so. I'm waiting for some heat here. I'm just gonna drop some solder in here and see if that'll remedy the whole thing. These two capacitors must join down there somewhere on some wire or something. Of course, I should probably pull the whole wire out, but when you start pulling things out of these radios, you risk damaging other things. And I just don't want to do more work than you have to and damage things, so... The whole trick is getting the soldering iron in here without blowing up some other wire or burning something else. Here it is. Put some solder in here, get some flux in there. So when I worked at Eastman Kodak a long time ago, this guy named Joe Hood had this stuff called Flux Off. He would tell me to flux off all the time. Flux Off removes solder flux, as you would say. Okay, what? Well, thing's really burning up pretty good. And the wiring is so corroded that I can't get the solder to stick to anything. So maybe, maybe I do want to chop this thing apart. Well, maybe it's going down to somewhere. Looks like the solder is traveling down the wire, or is it going out the end here? Of course, now I'm starting to burn stuff. Don't want to burn stuff. Let's take a look at what happened here. There's no solder on the bottom. Maybe it went down the wire, which would be a good thing. Let's check it for ohms. See what happened here. Okay, that ohms out well. I get a contract short, which I want, and when I press on this hard, it, let's see what it would do. It doesn't change. This capacitor here. is also ohmed out. So I think we succeeded with this. Now the question is, does the radio work? I still want to check this up here. Yeah, it looks to be working, shorted, so maybe I'll add a bit more solder to it. So what you want is the flux in the capillary action to draw the solder into that insulation and I'm guessing there's three wires in there, these two going in and one going out, I don't know, or, or they had some long wire, but I don't think capacitors had long wires, so there's a third wire in there somewhere. And let's just throw some more solder in here. It's not really drawing now. Oh well. That's enough. Let's double check it. Of course the whole tamale is if this radio is going to work or not. Do we solve a problem or create a problem or nothing happened at all? Well, that, I can't show the meter, I'm sorry. Well, it looks good. So we have good good ohms from the tube. Socket to here, and I guess to this little capacitor here. Let's check him or her or it. And I'm not seeing any ohms here. 
That's one big lump of solder though, so I think we're good to go. Yep, that's good. So, okay. Did we fix anything? That would be the question now. Did this actually repair this radio? So if I plug in the speaker and turn the radio on, it would show us that something could happen or not. Okay, so I'm not sure if the camera is going to show this upside down or right side up, but let's see what happened here. Let's turn this thing on. I was using Alexa as a stand. We'll take it off of here. Camera stand. Turn this thing on. There we go. Let's find the speaker wire for it. Put my glasses back on. Here's the speaker wire. Let's put this into the radio. Seems like whenever I fix stuff, it's always a mess. There's always like wires. All this physical hardware is always messy. Wires all over the place. Well, I hear some static, but I heard that before. So let's put the antenna wire back in. Here's the antenna wire. Uh, I guess I'll add a little curl to it here. Put it back in. See how it goes. Here's some curl. I guess I could hook it on with alligator clips actually. It's probably a better idea. If I could find some that are loose around here. There we go. The antenna is off by itself. Here's the antenna right here. Put that onto here. I was actually mucking around the antenna too to see if I could fix it. Anyway, here's the antenna jack. Here's some static, that's a good sign. Here's the antenna wire here. Put this onto here. Oh, there's some static, so. But I got static before. Well, we're upside down out here, but let's see how we do. So, I'm on 40 meters. I'm gonna peak for static here. Yeah, I'm peaking. Still not very good though. And when I go off of no AGC, AVC, the radio dies. So no, that didn't fix anything. I still have, I still got my problem with me here. Very low gain on this thing, very low gain somewhere in the IF. Well, anyway, you can see how this is a very frustrating process. Thanks for watching, have a good day.